how to replace the uh, very commonly broken Ford fuel injector harness connectors. These are called the EV6 connectors. I guess they're used on a lot of different cars. But basically, this sits right there in the fuel injector and almost always when you're removing these 20 year old connectors, you push down on this tab and as you can see, it immediately breaks off. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do to replace these is I went ahead and picked up a pack of replacement EV6 connectors. You can see these have the wires coming out the back there. Now, I have the option of cutting and basically soldering and heat shrinking, heat shrink wrapping these new connectors onto the factory harness. Um, as you can see, what I decided to do instead, based off some online recommendations, is keep the factory wiring that has no issues. It's the connector that broke, um, and re and basically repin with a new connector. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already started the process here. Basically, your first goal is to get the connect the new connectors to the state here with the pins removed and to do that to start you can see this red locking tab here on the top you're going to want to remove that that looks like this one it comes out you can see i torqued this one up just a bit getting it out but i didn't break it and it should still sit flat in there and i've got replacements in case but basically to remove that i'll show you on this one here i just removed the factory one as well here's that factory locking tab just for reference, I've kind of got a good spare there. But basically to remove that, you're gonna take, I used a small flathead, small pick tool, little angled pick tool that came in handy, and a small set of pliers. Other method I was trying was just taking my needle nose and kind of grabbing the body of it. Just going for it, let me see if I can get this one. Oh, oh, there we go. Eh, maybe that is the best way to do it. You can see that's out. So, kind of start it with your flathead or pick tool. Grab by the body of it like this and just pull. And now we'll do the depinning process. So basically, looking at the connector, this wider opening here is where those pins lock in. And basically, I'm going to point down and then push so actually what I'm going to do is I'll do positive first. So I kind of wrap it like I'm doing this one. You know, you could have this on a table or something. But basically I'm going to wrap like this and get ready to push. I'm going to work my pick tool in right there. You can see it's real small, but that, that's the tab right there. So put my pick tool in there. And then boom. So as I'm... Pull this out actually so this one's out. So that channel right there is what the tab locks into. And you can see the tab right there. So you basically start this and push down and that pin will come out. I'll remove this one as well. Man. Nice and simple. Again, you can see the locking tab right there and the channel it goes into. For reference, the negative wire is slightly smaller and goes on the clip side. Positive wire goes on the other side there. So again, EV6 fuel connector. That's how you depin them for uh, replacing a broken factory connector. I use the factory one. Well, as you can see, the factory connector basically melted, but it actually kind of helps because you can see those tabs easier. So you can see there is a tab right there and right there. And those two tabs hold the factory pins in place. And those two tabs basically sit in... Sorry, the flash is... That channel and that channel right there. So basically what I did is I worked this tool in there, got it right about here, and then pried back. Now again, the factory connector, I mean, was just melting in my hands. Every little bit I'd push on it was cracking. I'm kind of surprised that it just didn't crack to begin with. You can see how faded and aged the plastic looks. But on these new connectors, they obviously didn't break. So you can see that tab right there. Yeah, they're on the top side. That tab right there and that tab right there. Again, work the tool in right about there and then pull back. Kind of work that way and those will come out. Um, once those are out, 
you can see here, I've got just the pins. And I'm going to take my new connector, and just to double check myself, I've got a factory connector here, or replacement connector. The negative wire is the smaller wire, and the negative wire is on the pin, the latch side. So, now I'm basically going to take this here, and I'll put the camera down to put the phone down and do this. But, uh, actually, right there, it's, it's getting it. So I'm basically going to push these in, make sure they seal in all the way, and then replace that locking tab. Now, this is the factory Ford locking tab right here. And this is the replacement one. Now, the replacement one, I, I torqued up a bit getting it out. But the factory Ford one, when I pulled this out, it basically snapped whatever connector was holding this in. So this came out perfectly. The tab on the inside of the connector that holds it snapped right out. I mean, so your, your factory connections uh, will basically crumble if it's this old. Um, so I, I'm going to keep these as a spare in case this one doesn't work. But basically now, grab these as an example. I can take that new plug, repin into that new connector, reinsert my red locking tab, and I'm back and good to go. Um, as an emergency fix, when I first broke this, you can see what I did right there. It's just kind of a quick and dirty. I basically looped a zip tie through that broken tab and got around the body of the injector. That would hold if you're in a pinch. I wouldn't rely on that though. Um, I mean, granted, this, these are pretty small wires. This isn't, this, this, this is, it gets heat cycled but it's not like the injector wiring is under this massive amount of pressure and needs this crazy amount of torque. So a zip tie would work in a pinch. I've heard some people zip tie and leave it on there. I wouldn't recommend it myself, but you know, that, would, that would totally work. And when I zip tied it, I basically wrapped the zip tie through this broken open tab here, pop the connector on and then put the zip tie through the open channel and around the body of the injector. So that would work, but again, Repinning these factory plugs, I think, is going to be the way to go. But this new connector has the factory Ford locking tab, brand new connector with a working tab, and the factory wiring. So now, fits like a charm. Please excuse the dirty engine bay. That is being cleaned next week. But that, again, is how to repin and uh, basically rebuild the connector on your EV6 fuel injector connections. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing most of these. These three I have not taken off, and they're not broken. But I'm definitely going to be popping off the intake and replacing that guy right there. You can see that beautiful zip tie work. That was the first one I broke. Definitely had a... Uh, not fun time when that broke, but in looking this up, this is very common. So, again, just repin those. You reuse your factory wiring, buy these new EV6 connectors, and you're all set.